I don't want to overrate them. I feel like I played bias. I played high rating considering they went 9-1. and one. This is only the second game that they lost on, on this tournament. Now they're going to go. Five minutes well. Let's go. Let's see it. Double orbs action. So they're going to see the same spot pretty much. XXS on his, I would even say, signature Magnus. And one more deep observer ward where they could potentially grab a first blood. So Extreme Gaming will play the bottom part of the map for now. See if anybody comes through. Have fun. Never good luck. And Maureen giving that tip over to XM. And right back. A little handshake. Thanks for the 50 points. Although, I think I was told that you don't actually get the points in lobby games. I don't think you do. Because, like, back when battle passes were happening with uh, you give 100 points towards the battle pass, you would, I think, like, one of the first ones, people would just go into lobbies. People and find and, a way to abuse things. Yeah. That's how it is. So now, I don't think in lobbies you get anything. Well, speaking of uh, finding a way to abuse, really glad we got rid of some of these cheaters in the recent patch. You know, I see a lot of tears <laughs> on Reddit. I was, I was accidentally I was on purpose. I accidentally on purpose installed this program. It wasn't me. It was my brother. I was playing from LAN Cafe. You know, th there's a lot of excuses. I'm like, it, gi it gives me smiles. You know? I checked my account. You did? Yeah. You're banned? No, we're good. <laughs> I was nervous. Why were you nervous if you didn't use it? I don't so you, know. You believe some of these stories. What do you mean? You, what? The, I didn't use it, but yeah. got banned anyway? I mean, it would be my luck, right? You know me. I know you. Yeah, you're, you're It would be pretty, my luck that pretty unlucky guy. <laughs> that all of a sudden, if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. Check for, your friends you. list. Check. Just make sure I don't have a red icon as my uh, my name. I deleted you. I don't have you on the friend list anymore. That's not true. You're on my no. friends list as okay. knows my logins. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's really unlucky. We're gonna shut up about that uh, and we're gonna start the game. But uh, some guy, uh, he was actually carrying the soup today during the lunch and bumps into someone and has Burt hot soup on his hand. But uh, he can still cast. You don't need a hand to work. Uh, we're, we're good. I make, I make <laughs> gestures with my hands. That's about it. We're fine. Yeah, I, like, yeah, I saw you counting the, these runes, 35 minute rune. It was the, with the hand that was burned. So spin, Amar. In trouble. Blood grenade, first blood. Ame turning his fortunes around here. Not much c can do early on. Also, Early for Ame, he picks up the healing ward. So if he wants to just back up, sustain himself, he'll go through these tangos probably before he drops the healing ward down. That's pretty okay for him. Yeah, my nice lane start. XXS. Just getting hit here by sneaking. I'm really just, I, I'm curious to see what Marana does. As Marana short of getting skewered She's under the tower. Doing quite a lot. Like Marana, position five feels relatively strong. I think the reason why they also picked it is you don't care about Skewer back. You don't care about Marcy jumping you. You're going to have those leap charges. Wondering where he's, when he's going to pick up the arrow. Probably level four. This Storm, this Primal Beast face looks like Spirit Breaker. He really does with bigger teeth. And blue. So he's just... I, yeah, mean, we, I think we said it. He has Io tied to his leg. <laughs> just always tethered. That would be a good set. Although, probably <laughs> glance value, <laughs> glance value, it wouldn't be. Words. Very hard. Difficult. I, XXS. Like you said, this is one of his better heroes. You see this a lot. Shockwave dispose. Oh, and the nice skewer. Done. Well done. This was beautiful that, execution. Yeah. Like he disposed them and then skewered during the leap. So he. Dude, that was chef's kiss. Pretty much. Blood grenade on top of it. Did not want wow. to commit with potentially a second leap, but he I think he's already dead. Skitter will pick up the Lotus. Yeah, they were controlling the Lotus in the last game. I think you're getting chased by illusions here. Going phase boots like you said. That's Bracer. your core item, pretty Come much. Ours. Being That's universal hero. Get some stats, get a circlet, double circlet into magic wand, and then try to get a BKB afterward. Sticky bomb down from DY. Just gonna go back and forth on this, and uh, well, you know, nothing really doing. They already got first blood in this lane. Ame doing whatever he can to get some CS, but he's only sitting at 11. Meanwhile, mid 
24 CS4 exit against yeah. Prime Beast 22. And there's some beef going on there. In the mid lane, XM doing well. Slightly more CS compared to Mulreen, who needed to go back to base. Didn't lose too much. Four or five CS. I mean, if you are playing melee hero into Storm, Chris will DP up. I don't think he's going to get it. it. So that's another kill here for Ame. Well done. Great start for Extreme Gaming. They have almost as many kills as they had last game. <laughs> they had 10 kills total. <laughs> so they're 30% of the way there. It's good math. Uh, so, Primal Beast, just, you know, Maureen doing really well in the CS. He's keeping up, doing a pretty good job thus far. Does, you know what, with the white fur, he looks like he has shield rune at all times, too. He becomes gold. Like, he's golden. You'll, you'll see some silver pangos when they pick up the shield rune, but this guy is actually glowing. Yeah, he's oddly glowing. Looks like an abominable snowman. So from Monsters, Inc. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Took me a second. I don't remember the name, but after you said it, I, that's the guy. <laughs> you guys want any melted ice? Radiant so, mid lane, XM, pulverized, in trouble, and dead. Solo kill. And tips him immediately. I think Maureen. he tipped him during the third pulverize. Yeah. Not sure who started this tip in the mid lane. Yeah, but there's something going on. Shockwave Skewer, Starstorm has one leap to go and holds it. So deciding to hold it. Snaking relatively tanky with the item build. You know, Rebound some extra stats. Three. three, four branches, circlet, and the raindrop. It's all about survivability. Someone's coming through the gate. DY coming through the gate. So might be looking to blast off. T minus 10, potentially. I like that ward position. Get some vision, you blast off under it. Maybe get a kill there with a rebound dispose. It, it gives you the opportunity to make that jump. Skitter's far up in the lane. This might be a problem. This is the opportunity. They just need the Magnus nearby, potentially a Shockwave Skewer, but Primal Beast is here, and I think they got a little bit of a, a view on him, so they don't go for that kill. They knew something was cooking. I believe it was the Observer Ward from the mid lane, scouting him out, picking up that rune, and going to the bottom lane. So not much of a value was lost. Yeah, nothing going on there. And Ame is now jungling. Like Top of the network? He has two kills going into Maelstrom. Pretty standard nowadays, I would say, on Jug, considering the changes to Blade Fury. Oh, They're going. they still might get him. Rebound, dispose with the Skewer at the same time. Skitter gonna be shockwaved and the damage will be there. It'll be for XXS. Everybody coming Ooh. down. The pulverize in a great Big spot. Two from heroes Marine. low, but DY not gonna get out. Onslaught on top of him. XXS needs to try and get away. Skewer in three. Telekinesis one and shockwave. Skewer not gonna be able to get out. <laughs> Maureen gets the kill. You skewer the primal beast, you still get damage from trample. So yeah. nice return for them. Skitter will TP back to a lane. We still haven't seen. XM rotates, sitting at 0-1-0. DY will refill his bottle mid. Has Falcon Blade. It's a very good item against Falcons. I mean, it does, in the lore, say it does double damage to Falcons. It's not double damage. It does amplify damage. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Click on your, on your toes there. Net, not as in cute. And that's going to be... Some good damage, but not a kill. Ball Lightning, though, all the way over. Look at the Primal Beast that was going for XXS. And XXS gets critted for the kill on a Malri. So, good rotation. First rotation out from XM. He still has two sips in that bottle. Oh, no Ball Lightning the back room. to the wave. Wants that haste, crit. Ooh. Uh, uh, XM gets it. No. He'll pick it up. No mana there, actually, for Tokinesis. He could have popped. Lotus, but he ball ended all the way over there, so it didn't matter anyway. A lot of couriers in movement right now. Full list on the right side. Javelin being picked up for Ame, who's having a much better game this time. He's top of the net worth. And because nothing was happening, like on that part of the map, Kret picks up Wisdom Rune at 8 minutes 30 seconds. Usually you see supports being there immediately at 7 minute mark. 
But yeah, they will have a lot of ways to amplify damage on Jug this game. Empower, Sidekick, Mjolnir coming out from Jug. So them dealing damage and dealing with the illusions is definitely not going to be a problem. Amar, different item build this time. Double Bracer into Soul Ring. This has been the old build, but he's going for Yule Scepter. It's a great setup against the Storm Spirit. You see him zipping in. A little bit more time you can buy during Omni Slash. Great against Magnus, great against Techies. And also the spell mechanic. You see this Jug, you dispel off two of those abilities. So we'll see how quick he gets into that. How fast he wants to get included here in these fights. But Fall Lightning going all the way in. Looking for Snake King. I mean, that is a long zip. No mana left here on XM. Pig pole getting away, sneaking alive, and out. For a second, I thought Lion sneaked into a game and hexed snaking there, but uh, pig pole, extra stats, extra armor, and region underneath the tower will keep snaking alive. Tier Ame. one though, that's not Ame. gonna stay alive. Yeah, that's gonna drop. Is not gonna farm with Empower until he gets his Maelstrom. No camp there to take, but this one's available. Coming out first for the primal. Is that boy? I think I think you still need like maybe not so much of a BKB in this game, but uh, we'll see what he's gonna buy. XM trying to hold him close. Not a lot of health to work with. Ball lightning still going. Even Crits off distance. to the side. Just has to stay away from a potential trans trample as well as the onslaught. Omni committed, and there's a kill on a Mori. So Ami on a killing spree. He's moving around the map. This is kind of what you expect from Ame yep, is good. these early activations from the carry roll. Yep, really good rotation. Ame slash used, getting the kill there, which will get him closer to that Maelstrom. And he might even push the tier one tower mid slightly more. They were doing a really good job, you know, just keeping XM away from Primal Beast. Yeah, and uh, XM almost dying. This is tier one top. Looking like it's going to drop. A little bit of health left there, but DY, he's speared up. That actually hits onto the tree that's Ooh, left that over, but the close. arrow doesn't connect. Ball lightning from crit. Uh, it's a sticky bomb. DY's courier also killed off with the boots on it. So a blast off away, but into a spear, and Amar gets the kill. Position five plus a courier. They Taking will a lot take of time. it. Yeah. With bubble, like he is tanky. Magic bubble. What are they going to do on today's episode of the Magic Bubble? Just stay alive. A lot of farming capability with this Mars. You can see him just clearing up cre creeps with that God's Rebuke. Finally, the Maelstrom for Ame as he falls to second of the net worth is Amar. Takes a stack there. Ame uh, Amar has a lot of gold saved up. Might pick up a Blink Dagger first if he feels like it. Mm -hmm. Does have enough mana sustain and HP region with Double Bracer and Soul Ring. Haven't seen that build recently. It was mostly Vlad's into Blink or Vlad's into Mage Slayer plus Blink. So Primal Beast does have Blade They're Mail. looking. Sticky Bomb down Arena, but Spear doesn't connect, so XM's able to leave. Much easier to execute nowadays. Like Formation and also the Spear got buffed in 7.35, but that was slightly off mark. Yeah. Unfortunate. So from Falcon's Blade to Witch Blade next. Two blades there for XM. Let's see uh, if they can make a move here from Extreme because they're starting to fall behind in terms of net worth. 2,000 net worth lead here for Falcons. This is still kind of continuing what we saw in game number one where it was all Falcons. Pretty it, much, but still, like, they're getting too much out of the map right now. Yeah. You would expect them farming with Empire. Lining over make a difference. for Amar. Big kill Ame. if they can get it. And the Moonlight Shadow, but not gonna matter. Ame gets another kill. He's dominating. So that puts him back up to the top of the net worth. Blink Dagger, by the way, purchased for XXS. Expect to see a smoke with the first Blink reveal and an RP. They want to get stuff done, like playing with Storm Spirit and also having 
immediate blank dagger on XXS. He's not going for these like uh, farming items, uh, picking up Echo Saber or a full harpoon, and then going for a blink. He will still get those items, but it's more about uh, him being active. Double bracer, of course, bubble because he found it, blessed by Gaben himself. This item is just too good. Like it's it's the best tier one neutral item by far. I was gonna say when we were talking about Magic Bubble before in game number one, I was like, what if you make it a tier two? But then you have With to give big... it more health yes. to make it worth being a tier two. Then it's just good still anyway. So or I you could thinking... keep it tier one and put the shield to be like 70, 75, and has and you have less less uh, HP region. I was thinking maybe we go back to recipe. I think you were Ooh, thinking too XM. hard about that item. Arrow, arrow in, and a spear to connect. XM ends up dead. That's what they're looking for in terms of the combination with the arrow and the spear, and they tip again. Maureen is uh, <laughs> the back and forth and a smile in the all chat. Okay, XM tips him back. There's definitely it's, some beef going on there. It's, you know, rare beef going on between the two of them. I like it well done. Yeah. Right now, I, you know what? It is well done because the two of them, it feels like it's very playful. It's not, you know, mantles of intelligence dropped in front of you, see you later kind of beef. Yeah, but it's still, you know, all chatting. Ooh, He's going to bring some extra spice. Your RP with the unleash. There's the rebound. And then find Skitter. That's a big kill to get. Something they were unable to really do in game number one was kill that Nagasar. Quite a lot of damage. I don't think Skitter expected that he can be killed with just these two heroes. Like, that's why he was farming in the lane. I want to see what Marcy's building. I want to see what Jin Q is up to. I think he's farming with Empower. No, not anymore. Has three points in sidekick. Needs to get to his BKB. Like, this is the difficult part with the hero. Just getting to that one item. Moonlight Shadow again. See if they can get in. And DY and XM in their sights. Yule's up into the air. Spear back towards the arrow. And that is an easy kill. So Snake King getting credit with the second shot from the Star Storm. But it's only a 1,000 net worth lead. Ame sitting at the top. Last game, he was bottom of the pack, really, in course. So Manta getting picked up soon here for the Naga Siren. XM almost has that Witchblade. Then he's going into the BKB. It's way closer, game number two. And Extreme Gaming, 80% of the way there on kills, equivalent to game one. You've been sharp today with math and everything, with words. Uh, yeah, Keep I, it up, B-Cup. I uh, had a tutor come in last night. <laughs> <laughs> math tutor? or <laughs> Yeah, I uh, know oh, everything tutor. Life tutor, math tutor. They gave me an abacus. I love those life coaches, man. I follow them on Instagram. They have so many good advices. That's my life is so great at the moment. The next set, again, will drop. Yeah, Onslaught in looking for a second. Mines down on the ground with the blade mail popped here by Maureen, but they get the spear onto the tower and get the kill on a DY. These two letter player names not doing well. They're they're dead again. Uh, this Yule Scepter from Amara has been amazing. Just re removing some of these buffs and also setting things up for a potential arrow or spear into arrow. Song? Skeeter, as soon as he sees one uh, guy. Does he want to get out? He looks like he wants to just go. Ame. He's oh got a blade fury immediately. So now the rebound comes through. They do have that blade mail, so can't unleash onto the primal beast, but can go for the Mars spear in that connects onto the arena, but has the healing ward off to the side. The pulverize though, he's staying alive. Old scepter, Omni slash, Yule scepter, RP coming in, lands on two. Snake King and Mar are both going to be dead. Now they'll go after Maureen. They've got the primal beast in their sights, and they'll make him extinct. They'll take him out. That's three heroes dead on the side of Falcons. Uh, what an RP from XXS. Like, he did pick up that Blink Dagger a few minutes ago, but we haven't seen him use it, and they bait him perfectly with the Yule Scepter. They group around him. Skitter also, he went back completely. He did not want to participate in that one at all. And he songs, and then they commit, and he... You could, you could see that uh, Malreen's thinking about using ulti on top of Ame. Try to go for this song into stun play, not the easiest one to execute. Yeah. Shin Q was there, ready to jump, ready to stop Malreen from using his ulti. And XXS, look at his positioning in the back lines. Ooh. Bam. RP. And then Primal's just kind of cut, caught in a bad position. Good job, though, by XXS. And the reset was there. 
back and forth they go, giving the right uh, intro into these fights, as well as the, the healing ward for ZinQ from Ame. Made him survive that pulverize. Made him survive the fight, truthfully. Oh, looking wow. for an wow. angle. He's going to catch him. And now he's the one looking for the high five. ZinQ is like, all right, see you guys later. High five, bye. Yeah. Well, Yules and a tip. <laughs> <laughs> ZinQ, of course, will tip back. He does have Hand of Midas in his quick buy. It did slow down a little bit. Not sure if he wants to commit to it. Amar will find some, like, very weird item out of nowhere. It's like, yeah, I'm feeling this right now. He does have Light Collector. It's good for... Good for region. Uh, good for cutting down some of the trees. But it's, it's all about the move speed. I think 10% extra movement speed is pretty massive on that item. Right. And in the end, we'll pick up a Blink Dagger. So Ame full Mjolnir, almost has the Manta. Then into the Axe, he wants that Swift Slash to work with. And there's that Healing Ward, so. Always oh, safe. Level four Healing Ward. That's uh, what we were talking about, kept Zinku alive in the previous fight. And Extreme Gaming now, net worth lead is just about under 1,000. But they're in a good spot. They're not letting Naga get ahead of the jump. Yeah. We can expect Roshan, potentially, from Extreme Gaming in the next minute or so. Right now, there is Crit, Ooh. who is hidden by the Moonlight Shadow. For how long? Or how much longer is really the question. Just a second. Steals Shockwave, and they smoke. They unleash and commit on a Rosh. Arcane Rune is available on XM. Ooh, already down to half HP. Look at this damage from Juggernaut. Sidekick, Empower, Mjolnir, Yasha. Thinking about going into Namar. They've got the Yules. Can they land the spear? It's immediate, but the blast off comes Arrow. in with a sticky bomb. Well, they go to the him. arena. They get the kill on XM. Trample right on top of DY. That's going to be a second dead. Again, these two letter player names, they just can't <laughs> commit. Two supports for Aegis. I think Falcons are fine with that trade. It's going to be Ame who's going to hold it, but this Yule Scepter, so much value. If it's any different item, I think they wouldn't be able to get like five kills. So very nice thinking coming out from Amar. Now does have a Blink Dagger available. And BKB, XXS. He's like, I need some protection. I need to get outside of the arena. Also, we need slightly more damage if I get slept by the song. Also want to be able to get my BKB off. Needs to be able to survive here. XM needs a little bit more survivability. He's bottom of the core is in net worth by a, a massive margin at the moment. So let's see what he can accomplish here. As uh, also, you know, Zinku getting some farm, but so is uh, so is Crit. Yeah, Crit has been you know farming on the side lanes, and getting some extra farm because. I see this Storm Spirit, he's ruined already. XM doesn't have that good of a game, needs to farm his BKB somehow, but uh, Ame is having a blast, and so is XXS. So will they use this Aegis to try and secure a, a bigger fight? As They've got three and a half minutes left on it. Zinku setting up top. Vision's coming over. Great. He's here, and they're just going to unleash. Dispose. Telekinesis caught in the air, but they've got the kill. And they saw him potentially going to ward that cliff. He ends up getting taken out. Now they're going to work on the tier two over bottom. This is a freebie. Yeah, Techies is nearby, but nobody coming over from the side of Falcons. Everybody from Falcons playing the top part of the map. Ame will take it. So now he does have... Aghanim Scepter and his quick buy. Oh, Mini Slash will be available as well. Plus Manta Style to get rid of the net, to get rid of potential silence as well. Two and a half now. Minutes remaining. On that Aegis. Guardian Greaves finished off for snaking. Game is really even. It's like yeah. right there because they just swapped from X. And they're looking at the win probability, 60%. 60-40. It's Jug. Gabe loves Jug. 
Just like Spectre. It'll give you higher percentages even though the game is close. Arrow, not connecting on the Tormentor. And that will be shard four. I think they're hoping crit. And they get it. It's a better one. Yeah, most definitely. It does allow you to save people, get them out of the trouble. He also had one in his quick buy. So doesn't need to get that. Always feels nice when you don't need to buy the shard and you've got it queued up. You're like, man, where am I going to get this gold from? He's getting the gold. Does have Philly Stone. And he's been farming in the side lanes for quite some time now. The most farm support in the game. Yeah, his net worth is a little alarmingly close to XM's. If XM dies one more time, he could get close. But the big difference is this Ame on Juggernaut and also XXS. He is farming to scale. BKB, his third item is Echo Saber. So very interesting build coming out from him. Ame wants to close out another tier one tower. He's got the diadem too, so he'll have um, he'll have the harpoon in just a second, yeah. So twelve to eleven here, with just forty-five seconds remaining on this Aegis. Ame still staying very far ahead of this uh, Naga Siren. His farm's been feeling way better. Wind Waker being built here for Amar, and I believe. He has it. He, it's, uh, it's the recipe. It's the recipe. So and he, he just bought it. Yeah, there it is. Does have enough. Does he have the Mystic Staff? Needs to use no, the Courier, yeah. but yeah, there's the gold. Has enough. So Wind Waker, you have Rubik's Lift, Guardian Greaves. They are farming. Like, this is, again, way how the old Tundra squad played. They're not too afraid to push it for the mid and super late game because they always itemize for it. Spear connects Beautiful XM again. Execution. BKB survives this time. Going back in, he wants to go for Skitter. They go to the song. BKB is only going to last a little bit longer. That's a lead forward from Snake King. They're going to rebound, trying to chase with the onslaught away from Maureen. BKB, oh. is it going to last long enough? XXS. Harpoon didn't connect. Can he jump in there and maybe get an RP down? Omnislash is going to bounce around and get the kill to Snake King. They'll pop the blade mail on this Primal Beast, trying to run the slows on his Inkyu. And they only get the position five from Marana. Oh, that was so close. If they manage to get that Harpoon Skewer off, Skitter most definitely dies, and you can see the power of Juggernaut. Uh, snaking, sacrificing himself, saving Malreen in that fight. They were lacking a little bit of extra damage to bring down Stone Spirit from Ooh, 100 to zero. Again. Mar has DD Ooh, they lack or this Amplify time. damage. Amplify damage, no the BKB. silences, and dead. Idea. XM just not having a game. You said Rubik is creeping in slowly. 9,000 against 11,000 on this Storm Spirit. We also want to sound it more dramatic, so we're not going to say it has extra 100, 800 on top of that. Okay. That won't sound dramatic. It's just like 1K, 2K, you know? Yeah. But it's basically 3K. It's almost 4, which is basically they're not close at all. Look for XXS. Blink Spear, BKB activated immediately, goes into the Pulverize. That goes through BKB. They've got oh the Wind Shot Waker Wave from Amar. The skewer there. The Wind Waker save there. Zinku in trouble. He's not going to have his own BKB. They get the kill. They've got all five heroes with the Guardian Greaves from Snaking. And Falcons. They're poking. They're, they're, they're getting there. And they're attacking from the, you know, from the air, being Falcons, seeing what's happening in the full fight. This Wind Waker from Amar, first the Yule Scepter, it's probably the best item you could have bought because it paid off already, like multiple times. In droves, yeah. Ame still the most farm hero, but Skitter might take over soonish. Only a couple hundred gold away, whereas Ame, farm kind of slowing down. He's going for a Disperser next. And there it is. So now this is the point. Will you see Ame get back to the top of the net worth or have Falcons now hit that timing where they just start to run away with this game? If they're going to be fighting like this with these initiations, blink in, try to poke a BKB, I think XXS needs to land another one of those two, maybe even three man RPs. We haven't seen Crit stealing any of it. Neither did we steal like the Skewer steal. But uh, if he gets hands on some of these big spells, it could be pretty significant. 
Primal Beast, Aghanim Scepter down on him. So we'll have extra damage, break mechanic available. Not the, it's not like the biggest thing. It's good against Jug, obviously, but it's not, you know, wow, we broke Spectre or anything. <laughs> oh, great. Woo. Swift slashed, killed, gone. Ame has not died yet. He's on a monster kill streak. Dyer's middle tower but falling behind. Only down 610 gold right now. Snaking. Did plant Observavort in the enemy base, so they could go for some kind of a pickoff. They could also see potential smokes coming out. Bloodthorn finished. This is going to be the damage. I also want to see if Amar goes for something fancy, like this Revenant's brooch, or even if he wants to pick up Octarine Core, maybe get the Hex instead. Octarine right now. He's got a lot of gold, too. He's behind XXS, who goes into a Shadow Blade. Not your usual, like this was the old school build on Magnus, where you want to keep the distance. That's why I said I want to see two three-man RPs, and this Shadow Blade might allow him to do so. Definitely could. So, a little bit of a lead. See who's first to make the move with Roche respawning in a minute 30. And they find the Harpoon. They've got the Skewer, Wind Waker, Moonlight Shadow. Oh, he got it off. Blinks away and left, right out. action. Amar, he is very slippery. Feeling like a puck. But he's on Mars. So, just getting out of that one and not really panicking all too much. Giving time for Skitter to continue to farm. Well, Roche is now only 50 seconds away. They are going to smoke up on the side of Extreme Gaming, see if they can find anything. They smoke from the bottom side of the map, looking over towards mid. Kaya for the Storm, who is now getting closer via... Zinku getting a lot of farm here on the Marcy. They don't cross the mid lane. They're not willing to cross the mid lane just yet. So. Immediately pinged out. Malreen drawing on a minimap where they could potentially be. Don't cross this line at the moment. XXS with his Shadow Blade could pick you off. Now the Fusal Blade, both carries building into. Disperser, one of the best items in the current patch, I would say. You know, Mage Slayer, Eternal Shroud, Disperser, all these items feel really good at the moment. Top tower is under so, attack. Roche back up in just a moment, and that is probably going to be a marker here for Extreme Gaming to go for it. They're at the part of the map where he is. So, I think they, they let it go. They get more farm. You can see that net worth is still increasing both teams itemizing for scaling you see magnus you see also zinku going for what it seems to be like gleipnir so it wants to be able to deal damage uh, deal with the illusions as well and also have something to stop them from potentially blinking out great against primal beast post bkb final Amar. one they find amar wind waker he's got the moonlight shadow has the wind waker trying to get some distance but they've Got a sentry and down. He's not getting out of this and one. They should have the damage and will this time. That's a lot of gold. And now Ame godlike. Ame so far having a perfect game. They, they will catch find something. the techies. They'll have an arrow to follow that up. The onslaught and the trample. So crit getting that kill. And he's got a Yules of his own now. They're itemizing against Ame. Ame will definitely need to pick up a Nullifier. For now, he doesn't have it. But uh, somebody will need to deal with those Ghost Scepters, Wind Wakers, Yule Scepters. Yeah, if he goes that direction, he picks up the Disperser, but he's going Lincoln's next. Because Storm doesn't pick up that item. Maybe Magnus can get it. But he's also running out of slots. He did pick up a Shadow Blade. He's going for one. Okay. Yeah, and he's got Wraith Band to give up on that. Or for that. Unleash damage, and there's the Dispose, a leap away, but the chase is on from Zinq, you trying to get in there before this Naga Siren catches wait, up wait. to him. I have to show you something. I promise this is 
You know, me and my older brother. Older brother being Marcy. Yeah, well, oh, net. Telekinesis. Ooh. Arrow off the mark with the BKB. They've got XXS nearby. He's going to rebound, so... ZinQ running all Primal the beast. way away. No right. longer has that BKB, but they don't get that kill on Snake King. I heard Primal Beast using Onslaught, but I guess it was not not there. Yeah, he's bottom, a little bit further down bottom. He's popping a BKB, getting out of trouble. Also, the left was not on the spot. They were not on the same page. Threw him away from the arrow. It does happen We with the professional e-gamers. They do make mistakes. Game still teetering on the edge, still sitting even. He's going into the, oh wait, BKB. Not needing it for the first 34 minutes of this game. Yeah, you are playing into Omni Slash RP, so you don't want to pick up BKB immediately. It's more about you surviving, getting these smaller items. DY will be the first point of contact. Yeah, but the Onslaught Telekinesis, they're gonna get reactive taser out of this. Which is not a bad spell to have when you're up against Jug. Oh, really good. He does have a shard, so quite a lot of damage. 600 damage coming out with the shard. Well, Amar will pick up his Octarine, lowering the cooldown of his abilities and Wind Waker. Ooh, Spear! That connects! So they've got the Arena on Sword and gone! With the Silence BKB from XM, they're going to rebound in. They've got the Unleash. They're looking for the damage with the BKBs. They ulti activate that ability here from the Primal Beast, that Uproar Ags upgrade. Ooh. Spear a little bit early with the BKB being popped by Zinku. They go to the Swift Slash. That's onto the Illusions. Ame on the back lines. They're looking over this. They've got themselves the Pulverize. It's going to be through on his controlling Ame. They've left him behind. And now Ame trying to get out with the Blade Fury. But do they have enough as this activated Uproar is bouncing around and pushing them away? Amar with the beautiful Arena into the spear backwards, gets to the kill on XXS. They are just gonna go high ground. Roche is bad. They wanna poke, they wanna see if he has buy. That's kill, that's 200 free gold there for Snake King. He does have buyback available. What, is he gonna 30 use seconds, it? you're gonna potentially lose the barracks if you don't use it. Others need to, you know, go in, try to yeah. buy a little bit more time. They still have another glyph, so they will pop that. 25 seconds. Ame Marine has to needs think. to be careful, Amar. Does he Arena, want to Amar? Not available Ooh. yet. Pause coming through from Maureen. He's got some packet loss. Remember, by the way, join True Gamers, one of the most largest networks of computer clubs worldwide with over 150 cyber arenas. Click on the banner in the stream description and find out more information below. You, True Gamer, I ask you this every time. And I always say yes because uh, you're you always know. a liar. I was a true gamer back in the days, but uh, now not so much, you know. Could be more true, I would say. Some packet loss for Malreen. Hopefully that gets fixed soon, so we can continue. 20 seconds until Magnus arrives. There is still Glyph available for Extreme Gaming, but what? some big pickoffs that they did in the last fight. So what's the definition of packet loss? Like, what is... is it? Because it's not your... Ping. What, what, what exactly is packet loss? Packet loss is you, you order from, let's say, Amazon something. You get three packets. One gets lost. That's it. <laughs> okay. I was going to go a different route. I'm you not a tech guy. Open we do a have packet a lot of, of sugar. Uh, drop a little bit as you pour it into your coffee You cup. lost some. You lost some packets. <laughs> Thank you. Just wondering. Rubbing his hands together. Where where did it go wrong on that last attempt? As Marcy. Omar seeming very calm. You're very fit. He does, yeah. He's been working out, definitely. Dude, I worked out with uh, Jenkins and Blitz and Nisha. I, couldn't mu I can't move my arms, though. They hurt still. That was like four days ago. Yeah, these are some beasts. They're out there, they're just like, yeah, 40 pull-ups. I'm like, all right, one. I'm tired. <laughs> I, I mean, I did like, I think my first set was like six. I'm not, pull-ups are not for me. But they're out here, their first set was like 12. I'm like, damn, guys. Yeah, these guys are crazy, especially yeah, Jenkins. He's, he's a beast, he's been working out lately. 
But, uh, yep. If they keep picking them off like this, Falcons been using these Yule Scepters. Nullifiers, they need to come out ASAP. Like, they, I see one being built on Zin-Q, one on XXS, but uh, they need to come out. Because Ghost Scepters, Yule Scepters, Wind Waker, one Wind Waker is also being built at the moment by Crit. Still far away from it, but we'll get it eventually. See uh, where the next fight's going to be here for Extreme Gaming. Ame almost getting caught in that last fight. Rubik did one hell of a job. Crit keeping him away so he doesn't get his Omni Slash off. Yeah, that Swift Slash also available for him. Not really wanting to commit fully with the Omni Slash. But a little bit of a break. Maybe you can get that pause. Take a breath. Regroup. Because, I mean, Falcons are, are looking to do what I would say not many thought was going to be the act, the outcome here. Cause Except for our boy Jenkins. Yeah, he's he's a true believer. He, he, just he goes, has gotten the first two series perfectly right. He goes against all logic, the grain, yeah. pretty much. Is this Rift Jenkins again we got? That's the question. Because this Rift is uh, causing some packet loss. It looks like... are they? No, they're not playing again. You can tell they're not playing by, I think, whoever's in the back over there. Is that Maureen? Yeah, in the background, just hands on his head. He's not dead in game, so you know the game's not happening when his hands aren't on the mouse and keyboard. Even if you're dead, you still want to give some information to your team. You do? Yeah, you do. You can tip them. That's always good. If you uh, can't contribute, okay. check some of the items. And then my team says, why are you tipping your dead, idiot? <laughs> Well, at least you can't ping items of your dead teammates. That's a good one. That's anti-toxic. They still ping my abilities. Can they? I'm not yeah, sure. it's so annoying. They can? I'm pretty I, sure. I think it's items and abilities. I, I don't know I'm if not it's abilities. Do, I'm not doing that, so I don't know. I, I can see that you're Dude, very... Mad? Yep, yeah, very Dude, my, mad. My abilities get pinged very all the time. familiar with what you can do to be more toxic. You know what really pisses me off, actually? When they die... There's like a lot of things. Yeah, like everything. <laughs> Honestly, everything. But like when I'm like, let's say I'm playing Dazzle, and they die, and they wait like five seconds to ping Shell Grave, not on cooldown, I'm like, yeah, now. Can you hear that? Yeah, we. I can hear them. I, I don't understand them, but I can hear them speak. They were saying uh, this B-Cop guy. <laughs> yeah, needs to... I like his voice lines. <laughs> voice lines are good. The story about toxicity, not as much. Not as good, yeah. That's a five. But looks like they're getting a little bit more serious now. They might be getting back into it. And yeah, they are. You can kind of tell. I this forgot what happened. Age is still up and running for Ame. Okay. <laughs> I forgot what happened. There's an Aegis in this game. I thought Roche, I, I, I was about to say, maybe Roche is going to respond. Yeah. I mean, we talk about this every time we pause. Like you kind of lose track of those timings, right? Most definitely. That's why happened to you. It, it did. I'm not even in the game. That's true. Win Waker, for, by the way, for Rubik. I wanted to see Nullifier on Ame. He just got one delivered. So he's the one who can buy it early on. Some petals to go grab. Anime Laura would say they're stealing those petals. How come? I don't know. Isn't that like the first part of the first season? With the Luna and everything? Yeah, and they're stealing so the petals and taking the power away from Selamene. If I remember correctly, you are right, B Cup. Man, you're 100 been. points on the board. Let's go. But yeah, wouldn't you, I mean, lore wise, yeah, you should make Luna weaker. They were praising the Moon of Mana. Great, great voice line. Excellent. Amar. It's on my chat wheel. Not go He's going for a BKB now into Hex, into Shard. So look at his items. These are all super expensive items. Yeah. One thing I like about the change to this neutral item that he's holding on to right now, Havoc Hammer, took me a couple of seconds to remember what's it called is it pulls people in now. So that's pretty cool. Do you like and then it? you pull them in, and then you push them out. And it also is kind of set up for your spear, because the closer they are to you, the easier you hit a spear. Do you like Aviana's Feather? Aviana's Feather is bonkers. Like, that, that, that item is so good. 
evasion is basically budget butterfly. Who is Aviana? I don't know. We need to check those war files. Yeah, yeah, yeah go, go for it. And Jug, the beauty of the hero is you can pretty much solo take Roshan, and he is holding on to Aviana's feather. It's probably some like dodo. Bird. Dodo bird, dodo yeah. Bird. You don't think it's going to be a Dotrio bird? Which one? It's Pokemon. Dogtrio? No, Dotrio. Do okay. Yeah, Dogtrio is uh, the one that uh, <laughs> evolves from Diglett, that goes from the yeah, ground. Yeah, but like, that was old school Pokemon. Hey, what if this, but three heads? <laughs> Twice! <laughs> like, oh man, they really ran out of ideas here. So, Wind Waker. So, so what are these next generation Pokemons look like? How many heads do they have? Five heads, <laughs> yeah. Four heads. Yeah. Why not? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. When my Shadow Dust already used, they go to the song. Can Skitter, does Skitter want to get away? And he will. Stop for a moment, maybe they get him. They have a 10,000 net worth lead. When did that happen? During the pause, I guess. I don't know. Uh, they just <laughs> add gold into the game? Now, they've been farming up nicely. This is why this team is always going to be scary. They're getting more out of the map. They're also not afraid to get out and get that farm. Also, if you want to claim some of the prizes that could potentially drop, exclamation mark claim to get some of the coolest prizes out there, some new items, get that dragon on your throne. Yeah, in the chat, you have yeah, to yeah, do yeah. it. I saw people doing it till the last couple of days. Claim, There's always claim, one claim, guy claim, yeah. and it just starts. You're not getting anything, by the way. Exclamation point giveaway. Maybe there is something. Maybe there is. We don't know. Maybe our boy Reginald put in some prizes. Got those illusions with that swift slash. And I hope another tormentor. Yeah, let's see who gets it. Primal Beast. How do you do that? It's 50 50. I, I say the one that I want to see because I definitely don't want to see one on Marana. And uh, stolen healing ward for now by Crit. Still keeping that courier at the secret shop. So what's that? Wind Waker? I assume he's getting close if the courier is there. It's been there for a while. Even during the pause? Yes. I Or actually, maybe it's not there or just the recipes on it. Because I don't see a courier at the secret shop, actually. Interestingly enough. But it does. It's moving. Something's show. moving at the moment. Going to the secret shop. Let's see if he buys it. Been doing yet. Radiant are scanning. But tier four item flying out for techies. Lincoln's next for XXS. Well, the power of X be able to win this game. Because look at where they, they need are. to they're get in the back. Base. Immediately popping that blip. They're, look at this damage. Well, they're in the other base. So I think they push faster. Yeah, Unleash is certainly going to help. <laughs> Uh, guys, might want to might wanna start getting back here. Oh, Marana gets the healing ward. That's pretty big. But they got coming they around the back. From. Two glyphs used. Maureen, Onslaught, right on top of DY. He's they alone. go into the Omni Slash. That was full Omni. So Omni doesn't get the kill there. Uproar activated. Arena down around on two. XM down to about half health. They've got the score. They go after Amar with the BKB beam. Popti's on the run. They've got the reactive RP on top of him. And now they've got the RP as well. They've got the dispose. It's on a Snake King. They're trying to get a couple of kills here. DY's going to end up dead with the Wind Waker going away. They go to the Pulverize on top of XXS with the BKB. It's not going to matter yet. Bleed Skeeter's Fury on still top in the base. of Maureen. They're trying to get the kill here onto this Primal Beast. The Naga Siren Illusions are taking the top set of racks. And now this is a Naga Siren go to the bottom set. They need to get back. They need to figure out their base. <laughs> okay, this boss uh -oh. is, is going to help them figure things out. Do they TP out? I think if Skeeter's in that fight, they get like at least four kills yeah, out of it because they, they need that damage. But he's also pushing in. He's all smiles on his face. He's really fine with this trade. Losing Malreen and use, use, uh, losing Marana. And now he's going to push. They need to TP back and it's going to take some time. Because right now, they have no HP whatsoever. They've got a TP back. They've got Mars already in the bottom right corner of the map, pushing that lane up. So the rest of the team will connect. Oh, somebody wrote something in the chat. Yeah, and then Lena Dragon slaved in our face. 
I was that quick. So, I mean, now we got to theory craft the base race. So two glyphs were used by Falcons, which means that they're not going to have it. I couldn't really figure out if any glyphs were used for extreme gaming, but the good thing is we can hear them. We can hear them when the, when the game is paused. Yeah. I don't know if that's... It's just so we can chat with them a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they can hear us, but... Uh... Thumbs up if you can hear us. <laughs> Blink twice. Blink, Skeeter, if you can hear us. Now, Keep you your hand on your chin <laughs> if you can hear us. That's all a sign. All right, all right. Uh-oh. Looking for a neutral item. <laughs> Need a tier five. Everybody has a tier four neutral item, but wants something bigger. Dodge a logo on your screen there. BBD. All right. Let's take a look at the replay of the fight. Onslaught looked like maybe Maureen was in some trouble. Pops BKB. That was full Omni Slash committed so early. Yeah, Moonlight Shadow. I, I believe they lost the vision and Amar. Bought a little bit more time, seeing that the uh, Omni Slash has been used, and then he gets disposed or disposed Wait. by Rubik. So that was pretty nicely done. I thought it was by Marcy, by Jin Q himself, uses the Wind Waker. And the pace is dying at the moment. So Maureen will die, but Blade Mail, the power of it. XM almost killed himself. And we gotta remember where we were in the casting of the team fight. I was saying you are base. And then you were saying something about. You got to tell I, me exactly I, I what know. you said. You said base, and I said the last said word was base. He's going for your base because well, we got to get right back into it. When the, the, the fight starts, I want to be right back into the middle of the team fight. And then I said, this is like Seinfeld. We were actually theory crafting Seinfeld episode. <laughs> and then I said, what about and then, your yeah. base? And then I said, all your base belong to, <laughs> to us. Oh. I like those uh, extreme gaming jackets. Uh, they're nice. And the jerseys for Falcons are nice, too. I like the designs on them. Is there one jersey that you don't like? Because you have, like, 50 jerseys at home. I have like Half of your I apartment have like, I have is like, jerseys. I have, like, eight jerseys at home. But they're all, like, Chinese Dota jerseys. Because it's uh, a couple of PSG LGD ones. And I have an extreme gaming... I have an Azor Ray stuff, Aster stuff, even though Aster, I don't know. You want an Aster jersey? Do I want it? Yeah. Like, Because <laughs> they don't have a team at the moment? No, they have a team. They're just, you know. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe things change. Maybe yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. take it. <laughs> then then you ask, yeah, again. You're, you're like, can, yeah, can you get back? back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. It sounds like there's clicking, but uh, we'll see if they're going to get ready to go again. Yeah, Looks we like, said uh, it's, what, it's this gymnasium for the eSports University that they're in. I think so. Yeah. The Rift has opened like right in front of the university. Yeah, yeah. Why? That's why so many students went missing. We don't talk about that. We don't talk we about that. Yeah, we, we, we spent all our money covering it up and they're going Go for the base. And then I said, <laughs> what about XP, Arun? I think we got it. Am I still not done? No, like, they're not. Full Wind Waker, by the way, being finished here for crit. Telekinesis, TP in, Naga's coming back. They've got Amar, as well as the Primal Beast to nice. land the Spirits on Ame. He's got to be a little bit careful as he'll pop that Manta. He's going to start to right click. He goes into the Swift Slash, down into the Blade Fury, but he's going to be pulverized while he's, he's doing done. so he's dead. 1,200 gold seconds for Amar. So much money for him because that's his first death. The net lands. They get another kill here. And oh, buyback from Abe. Roshan is up. Uh, okay. Everybody buying back. They're committing all or nothing. Uh, yeah, they want to go. They want to go for this Rosh. It's a very risky move. Like, definitely is. I mean, they lost mid set of barracks. They lost top side of the barracks because... Got to risk it biscuit. Skeeter was inside their base, and it was such a nice setup from Crit. First using the lift, and then throws him onto the barrack. And I'm like, okay, like, why is he doing that? Uh, did he misclick? No, he did not. Into Wind Waker, and then Amar finds an angle. Primal Beast buys back. So they want to take this Roche. 
This it's is... going to be an expensive one. This is third Roche. Can we check the Roche? Check the prizes. I'm still not used to it seeing. Is... It refresher is ages, shard, refresher, banner. and banner. Okay. Going to take some time to get used to that still. That's going to be MKB. That Demon Edge is not divine right here. So they smoke up here, maybe catching extreme not all the way out. The only one who's not out yet is Zinku, who is smoked. So he's trying to run. Oh, whoa. No they BKB see for him. a second. Sonar P. They got him. That's Zinkyu's big. Dead. He's dead for a really he long time. Back. Minute and a half. Yeah. Oh. And he's a good amount of the damage. The unleash is a significant portion. Come Jesus, on. Havoc Hammer <laughs> and God's Rebuke. That is no fun. One shot's the creep way with it. Way. And level 25 yeah. talent. Yeah, but he can uh, push me, pull you. You know that animal from... What is it? Winnie the Pooh or... Do no, Dr. Doolittle. The push me, pull me? Yeah. Is that Dr. Doolittle? Yeah, it is. Do you watch... What, Paul Blart? Dr. Doolittle? What's <laughs> no, going I, on No, I remember there? I was reading a book that like 30 years ago or something. Sure. Just a... I have good memory. So... One of the reasons why I could you remember what you remember were saying. The draft. <laughs> yeah, the, dra I'm not... the draft leaves yeah. if you've got that goldfish brain that hits. Because I'm not trying to remember it. I'm going to see it on the screen. Fair enough. Don't need that useless information. I'm hoping you're going to fill for two minutes. So, yeah, big, big moves coming out from Falcons. Yeah, you Telescope, Aether Lens, Wind Waker, Arcane Supremacy. And there's also RP still available for another 15. It's going to be available in 15 seconds, but still available for another, like, two and a half, three minutes. Yeah, so they could fight with this if they want. By the way, 20,000. It's just going up. It was 15,000 a second ago. Now it's 20,000. The net worth is rising. So we're to game number one. So Falcons, I mean, they, they are looking like they're one fight away from winning this game which would be not only the game it would be the series it would knock down another Chinese team into the lower bracket and it's the big one this is this is the, a team the top that team of the group pretty much they had the highest win rate so far finished off the groups with only two losses and again Falcons they keep farming this network keeps increasing they're not afraid to go for the Late game, super late game. They also have two sets of barracks taken out. XXS trying to go for the wraparound. Might be successful on it. They're jumping in. They're looking over. They've got that RP that's going to be on his EQXM going in with the BKB. He's going to jump through. They've got the arena. It's up. DUI's already going to be dead. He buys back immediately. They're on the back lines with the song. They go to the RP. Is it going to be enough to get these catches and get these okay, kills? They don't see them. Song stops them. And the song. Now they're going to go back in. Spear, BKB, ZinQ moving forward. XM looking for the ball. Lightning going to continue to go for Amar. But he's got his own BKB. They're on the run now on the side of Extreme Gaming. They land that they rock to fall toss. back. That lands on a DUI as well. ZinQ, they'll hit the spear onto the Marcy, but it goes up out of the high ground. So he's safe for now, but the arrow hits. He's one shot from dead, and it's Marlene who gets the kill. Healing Ward stolen, so they're going to have some regen on them. Ami in some trouble with the Blade Fury. He needs to be careful about his positioning, but he gets up out of the high ground near XXS. He still has an Aegis for a minute 30, but they're five heroes alive for the side of Team Falcons. Yeah, there is no buyback on ZinQ. He did use it one fight before. And look at the amount of gold. 10,000 gold on Skeeter at the moment. He is fully jacked, so he can buy that. Aghanim Scepter has a lot of evasion because he's holding onto a neutral item plus butterfly. And these fights, they just getting kited. These Wind Wakers, they're not uh, working out. Like this nullifier that needs to counter it, it's not like there. To go. Couple Ags. of mines in the base. Ags all bought out here with the blessing. Plus a buyback Skitter. available. Yeah. Top lane and mid lane are pushing in. Let's see if they want to commit. Still pushing into Aegis for another 40 seconds. They might be able to find the right timing. Hell, they might not even care about the timing on it. They're so far ahead. We've got these illusions pushing in. Ball lightning to try and clean up a little bit. Illusions pushing mid as well with those upgraded creeps. It's quite a lot of damage from these illusions. They kill the creep wave immediately, and Ame forced to use uh, Quick Slash. 
blessing. Amar Four gets enter. it. Give it to Amar this time. Like, there it is. Because he didn't have it. He did not buy it. He did not want to invest Spend his gold. gold. So he can still, you know, buy upgraded blank by Aghanim Scepter, which is a bit of a meme. It did get buffed, but it's, uh, you know, it's an okay one. Holding on to Refresher plus, plus his buyback, which is pretty big. So double BKB, double Wind Waker, and also Arena. He can spear four people with it. Mana's always going to be a problem with this build, but not if you have Octarine and if you have Wind Waker as your item. So that's pretty nice. You can actually use the full combo, use every single item. So now knowing that Aegis is probably expired. And no buyback on Jug. Like he did use it to go for that Roche. To go for Roche. They smoke themselves. Maybe Extreme have a fight left in them. Far more. This is what Falcons are saying at the moment. Ooh, Lamar breaks the smoke. Ball lightning. Nope. Blink away. Illusion's just trying to get some information here. They really don't have to force anything. They've got these illusions from the Naga Siren pushing in and, and making them uncomfortable, afraid to leave their own base. If Falcons want to wait for the next Roche, they could. Buybacks will reset on Extreme Gaming. Except for DY. Yeah, he did buyback relatively recently. late recently, so they can still push in. Naga Siren, Skeeter is picking up XP Rune on his side of the map. They're getting the levels. Net worth keeps increasing in their favor. So no need to rush anything. Storm wants Ags, but... He also wanted Hex. There's a refresher for the Primal Beast. Hex Blessing, Swift Blink. A lot of gold to spend here for Ame, who is now down 11,000 net worth from Skitter. They're going in through the top side of the map. EKB, whoa, whoa, whoa. He knew something was up. They do have Sentry. Amar immediately pings it. Oh, EKB, though. Was too afraid if he gets speared back in terms of saves that they have. I don't know if it's enough. Refresher now being delivered to Malreen. So double BKB again. Arena. He got him. Zinq spotted and killed. Man, Amar is so on point with these spear backs into Arena. A little bit of Kale happening. Oh, they've got the, the hook shot on him. So Harpoon hooks in. Grabs him back, they go to the song. Now can they get anything else? He's thinking about maybe using the second arena and doesn't commit. refreshing it. Does not want to commit. So Harpoon hooking in, pulling him forward and unable to get anything on to Amar. 30,000 net worth lead now for Falcons. It's just looking all Falcons at the moment. Again, similar to game number one. As the bottom tier three, not with a lot of health remaining. But spear, Ooh, looking with the God's Rebuke combo on it. So you still do get that stun if the spear lands, you're just stopping his movement. Yep. Amar will have another round of spells available. Arena plus BKB in 10 seconds. Sitting at 5,000 gold. Then we'll have the refresher to go with it, so. Is trampling for now. Also looking towards Refresher. Shiva's for the Marana. That should help. We might see that in the next slide. She will pick it up potentially, but for now it's a Ghost Scepter. And then, like I said, they're thinking about the Ags here on Storm. Whether or not he wants to commit fully for it, might need that blue hole to kind of get something done. It's the big one. It's the turnaround play. I think he needs to commit. Uh, like, you would definitely want to have buyback if you're the one getting jumped. But it also, if you want to risk it slightly more, sell your treads and just get that Aghanim Scepter online. Because it's a setup for Magnus for a big stun coming up from DY. And also Omni Slash. Like, you might just delete two, three heroes immediately. Our XXS moon, is Skewer, going in. Lincolns, that was popped. But they've got the Wind Waker. There's just so many ways to, to restart. Sticky Bomb stays with him. They're going to disperse. 
disperser. Both words applicable here. And they start to get back as these creeps continue to push into the base. Next Roche will spawn in, I believe, 50 seconds. So that's a fourth Roche. They could wait for that. Right now, nine heroes with buybacks. DY needs another 40 seconds and also needs another 700 gold. Now he's not too close to it. So the net worth currently sits at 32,000 in the lead here. Daedalus next for Zinku, but he's getting chased. Bots Boots to travel in, and they've gotten themselves the pulverize as well as the kill. Skitter Wicked sick as they'll take out this Marcy who does have buyback. Arcane Rune sitting top, XXS nearby. Does he want to go for this play? Moonlight Shadow's used, and he just blinks away. No vision. It's also a super difficult kill to get. They need to commit with the RP pull and the Omni Slash to get the kill there. 6,000 gold on a mark. He's, they're choking them out. Like you can see the net worth difference. It keeps increasing 33,000 gold. They gone to deal with those illusions. They're going, they've got the spear as well as the arena that's gonna be an Ame. Lincoln's being popped all over the place. They're looking for the RP, it's gonna be used, but I don't think it hit on anybody. BKB from Amar with the Lotus Orb on him. He's confident to move on in the Sting Bombs down, but they go for the tier three, they've got the Glyph. So right now, Skitter holding his ground on the high ground as they've also got Marwin ready to go forward. Uh, this might be Mega Creeps. Yeah, they need to commit be, on but extreme. they've got backdoor protection at least for a second. They'll go in. They've got themselves the Pulverize on XM with a BKB, but they're looking over as the rest of the team's coming up with a blast off. This is XM low, but surviving. DY's in. The uproar is going to be activated. They get the kill there on the DY. DY dead. Now they're starting to run away. They've got Marcy, though, in their grasp. They'll get themselves a double kill. Godlike for Skitter. It's 3v5 now. They do not have buyback on either of those heroes. Yeah. I think this might be it. It seems like they don't have enough damage. They, there's no RP available, Omni Slash. They need to commit. Right now, they're going to be playing against Mega Creeps. No buyback on DY. Jin Q used his already. So there are the Mega Creeps. And the Tier 4 is who Onslaught in, Jug in trouble. Looking for the Pulverize. They land the Spear. Ame's got buyback. He's going to use it immediately. Trying to hold on as they go to the Moonlight Shadow, they'll throw this Swift Slash. BKB, Wind Waker, trying to stay in the face of Extreme Gaming. They're going to pop the Lincolns on XXS. They've got the Arena down. Blade Fury to get out of it, but the Throne's exposed. They go to the Ball Lightning, back and forth. They've got the Telekinesis. It's on to the Magnus. Now they look as the damage is out on XXS. They get the kill. He's got buyback, and they hold the Throne up. Extreme Gaming trying to do it, but they go into the Song. Everybody's still alive here for Falcons. They look like they're going to push Extreme G Gaming up into the lower bracket. They want to close it out. As they call GG, Falcons will take this series 2-0 over Extreme Gaming. And, I mean, they have defeated the 